Now then ladies, we've just arrived at the office lake, beginning of October. We've chose to go in the arm at the far end, in the narrow bit. So we've just got here, get ourselves, get the rods in and get set up. It's looking lovely for 48 hours. We literally just chucked the first rod in the water, dropped it on the bite alarm, flat battery, trying to put a battery in it, and it just starts taking line. So I picked it up, straight into the first fish, within seconds of being in the water, put in a proper buzz. Thought that was how it was going to be. And yeah, excellent. It puts you on such a high when you get one straight away. So we're trying to get that in. I've had issues with my microphone on this session, so I'll apologise for that now. Ooh. Nice. Well played, Jeff. That's bigger than I thought it was. So this is me having microphone issues with me fourteen pound two, I believe that was. And you can see the marks on this side where it's been rubbing on this probably been flanking on the sides or might have even had a go from one of the big catfish you never know but that was the one first fish look at the mouth on it beautiful thing always nice to see him go back fight for another day, come back a bit bigger next time. This is the left hand rod that's gone again. This that's the area. Just picked it down there. And she's gone. Got a carp on there. Oh, look at that splashing about. Just teasing me, doesn't want to come for the net yet. mega intense fight the first run was hellish look what we've got in the net let's get it on the bank get the scales around it <laughs> so 
there we go. We've got it out, we've put it over the scales. 41 pound five ounces, Welsh catfish. It is slippy, slippy and slimy. It put up one hell of a fight. It ripped the rod, back brought it out my hands. It's just what a take, what a fight. Awesome creatures. And there it is. 41 pound five of awesomeness. We'll get it back in the puddle and we'll get the rod out there for another. Brilliant. Fucking thanks, huge. Wow, what a fish. What a fish. What a fight. Nothing fights like a catfish in a lake. For the size of them, even if you had just had a, a small one, it gives you a, a real good fight, but that one was just lovely. Nice, good, decent sized cat. Biggest one I've had in England, so that's all good, isn't it? It's another tick on the list. But it was just a gentle take to start with. Nothing, a couple of beeps, and then it beeped again. Um, my mate next door had just lost one. Stuck into it, nothing there. Uh, found it for a bit and then it come off. So we just got him set back up, just about to cast back in, and a couple of bleeps. So I stopped behind, a couple more bleeps, looked at the line, I thought, hey, oh, that's lifting up. Just picked the rod up, hey, we're in, lovely. And then it went bang, bang, bang as it shook its head. I thought, that's a cat. And then it stormed off to the left flew down, I don't know if it was the far margin or the middle of the lake, I don't know, but it was going. I'd got the clutch tightened up and it started and it was dragging me down the steps. I took a couple of steps, I'm like, I can't go no more, it pulled me in the water. So, slackened off a little bit, but kept the rod bent as you can be. I'm gonna have a bruise in my groin tomorrow. Because yeah, there ain't many sags in the lake, but I'm not 100% sure, so you've got to hold it tight and then, I don't know, it felt like fucking, I don't know, it felt like 15 minutes, probably wasn't. And we got it up to the net. Yeah, yeah. A hellish fight. Just, proper adrenaline goer, you know what I mean? One of them ones where you, it's dark, you don't know what's down there, down there. You, yeah, you, you pray and you've got a good enough hook hold to hold it. But, Loved it. So I've sorted out the aftermath. I'm back in the bivvy. I'm going to get the kettle on. I thought I'd just tell you before I forgot what happened. Yeah. Might have to have a bit of scotch in the old uh, coffee tonight, I think. I settled my nerves. Bit of medicine. Lovely. Right, we'll catch up with you tomorrow. How are we doing? Right, day two. Dinner time after the big catfish. And I'm just making up a couple of eggs. Because I've just made a couple of eggs up. Cast it out. Had a crack off. Uh, I thought, oh, I don't mind. It happens sometimes. Redid everything. New rig. Lead, all the bollocks, you know. Then what did I do? I put it in the tree on the far bank, right up in the bush. Or at least it's staying in the bush, so I've just snapped off again. So I'm making a couple more eggs. But no more action, well, no more landed since the big cat last night about 10 o'clock. Um, We've had My mate next door, he's, uh, he's lost a couple. I had a take about um, five o'clock this morning. I felt it, I thought, oh, this could be another cat. And then that was it, it was off, it was gone. 
so what it was, I don't actually know. But I'm on the same rig, pretty much, as I was last time I was here. The old uh, Rat Hook Fox um, Curve Medium Size 4 Micro Bob. Instead of putting uh, a bit of silicon to trap the hair, I started using a bit of a shrink tube. Because when you steam in the bottom bit, you over the eye of the hook, you can steam the shank of the hook quite nicely, and it does hold it in place a bit better than silicon. So, yeah, it's not much to report on the fish front. There's a fair few people here, a few more has turned up. There's some more people down to the right of us. That's all it is, just steam that up, move that up slightly so it sits a bit better. That's all I've been on with a red pellet on the end, with a bit of sweet corn, like, uh, like last time to be fair. And that's what we've had all the, uh, all the takes on. Put on an anti-tangle, stick a figure of eight in the end, and we're laughing. I've already done the... Uh, Put a new leader on and lead clips in that. So put this on and we'll be away. The rain keeps coming and going and coming and going, which it's on. Weatherman says it's doing that all day, which, to be fair, ain't a bad thing. It's still pushing down to us. The wind is not as hard as what it has been, but. It's still coming this way. So I'm going to finish making the other one of these up. And then I'll get the kettle on, make a cup of tea, well, steam these up, make a cup of tea. And uh, get my third rod back in the water. And it's the left hand rod, rod, and to be fair, that's the one that did the two carp. It was the middle one on the far bank that. Uh, who did the cat last night? What a fish. A what a fish. And why I'm tough with that, as you can probably tell. I think anybody would be. Yeah, that is actually my biggest English fish, so... Yeah. That's kind of made my session, hasn't it? But we'll continue, we'll try, we'll carry on. And hopefully we can... Uh, Get another carp or two. Alright, carry on.
goes to, it goes to 50 pounds. But then it just hovers, it goes up to 50 pounds, but down to 40 to hour. Yeah. In the back of the truck, there's a D-shaped thing. Did you grab that for me? D-shaped? Yeah, soft. Oh, yeah, it will do, yeah. Oh, Jeff. So either that and try and sprawl it out on the floor, I'll just get in there where waders are. I'll just get in there. Well fuck it, let's dig pretty quick, Jack. Let's get deep. and a Wells catfish from the office lake.
This is me getting my drone out for a quick practice. Battery was flat, so it didn't last long. But it is scary driving it over water. I've only done it once before. I'm not the best on it. But that was my swim. And we just started to get out, and then it started to beep at my flat battery, and I kind of got a bit of a panic on. I just needed to get higher to get that better view. And I think a polarised lens would uh, make a big difference because that's just the water and there's uh, not a lot we can see. But back into the swim, panicking that we're going to run out of batches, so I'll come down for a quick landing. A bit rough. But it stayed the right way up. Now then, here we are. End of the session. I'm peg 14 at the office lake. Hell of a session. Can't believe I've had two big cats. 42 and 51. 50 pound, 3 ounce. In fact, somewhere about here is where we got them from. About that overhanger. Absolutely brilliant. So this is an hour end of a spin round. There's a the bigger bowl up. It's literally right, just as it closes in was where we were. If you fancy slipping down, peg 14. There they are. we've only had four fish. Uh, my mate's been unlucky, he's not had anything. Um, but it's time to go, we're all packed up. We've took nothing but memories and leaving only footprints, which is what we should be doing. So carry on carping and we'll catch you next time.